Well, cell phone video of a traffic violation has a Woodland, man, Woodland Park man in hot water tonight. He posted the video online, and now police are holding him responsible for it. Cardio News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman shows us the video and explains why police say it's clearly evidence. Michael Dalton captures just about everything on his cell phone. He even uses dash cam video while he drives. I made that video on a whim. But posting it got him in trouble. Uh, this is, it's craziness that this is, that's where it's come to. Dalton admits that he rolls through this stop while passing through an apartment complex parking lot on private property. That video caused me some. It has caused me to, to realize a lot of things. That's because two weeks after he posted it to Facebook, an officer shows up at his house. So you're writing me for the stop sign based on my video? Yep. Even though it's a private stop sign, we can still enforce some of those, those traffic violations for running it. Because it was posted and because there was physical video evidence, then we chose to charge. Woodland Park Police say this is the first time they've issued a ticket based on a social media post. So keep in mind, anything you post to social media, just like the cell phone video, can be used against you because this is public domain. You're giving me a ticket from my social media video? A stop sign violation? But Dalton faces more than that. Also on the ticket, reckless driving, harassment, and trespassing. Woodland Park PD would not explain, citing the ongoing investigation, but people who live here say they've had run-ins with Dalton several times in the past. Unlike Dalton, they didn't want to go on camera. In Woodland Park, Bonnie Silkman, KRDO News Channel 13. Sounds like more to come. Thanks so much, Bonnie. Dalton, by the way, says he's hired an attorney. His court date is next month. A suspected